what is happening guys and welcome to my channel the js ninja so today we are going to discuss about prototypes and proto what are these things and how do we use them so before going into the topic let us discuss about functions so as you guys all know that functions are objects in javascript basically everything in javascript is an object so let's just see that so let's create a constructor function pokemon today we are going to catch some pokemon yay so pokemon will have a name a type let's assign this name equals to name this dot type equals to type so this is a constructor function using which basically we can create a new instant new pokemon so let's create a new pokemon pikachu obviously new pokemon name is pikachu and type is electric obviously let's print this pikachu so guys this is the object which has a name property on it and a type property on it Let's forget about this proto property for now. We'll discuss it later. So as I was telling guys, Pokemon, this constructor function is an object. So basically, if it is an object, we can assign properties to it. So let's do that. Pokemon dot color. Let's say yellow. Now we have a property color on the function constructor function so this is how we can assign properties to function as well so guys similarly prototype is nothing but just a property on every function in javascript which javascript engine adds for us so let's check that out pokemon dot prototype so this is a property prototype on the function pokemon and this refers to an object which has these properties we look at these later so all that you need to know for prototype is that every function in javascript has a property prototype on it and it refers to an object that's it and as prototype is an object you can assign properties you can assign methods to it so let's do that as well let's do pokemon let's assign a method speak to it prototype dot speak equals to function and obviously it will print pika pika for us and let's just clear this and run this over here right let's just see the pokemon prototype now now it has two properties three basically speak constructor and proto right this is just a plain simple javascript object we can assign properties to it we can do anything with this so guys i like to visualize more so i have created a flow chart so let's just look into that well this is the flow chart this pokemon is the constructor function which has a property prototype on it and that points to an object this is the object which in turn has a property constructor on it now it has a speak property as well that we added so let's at that awesome so guys as you can see this object has a property constructor which basically points back to the pokemon constructor function as you can see here this constructor points to the pokemon constructor function so this is the link over here right awesome now we have this pikachu object and we can call pikachu dot speak on it here the underscore underscore proto underscore underscore property comes into the picture so let's visualize this with a diagram first and then we'll see in the code here is the constructor function that we, as we discussed and this is the prototype and this is the pikachu object so which has a name property and a type property which doesn't have a speak property on it as you can see but the prototype has a speak property okay so pikachu object doesn't have the speak property then how come when we call pikachu dot speak it prints pika pika so, 
So guys, whenever we create an object using the new keyword, so what JavaScript engine does for us is it links the object and the constructor functions prototype and it will look like this. So guys, this is the linkage and this linkage is known as proto. So whenever we create a new object, the engine assigns this property proto for us and let's see this in the code. Pikachu. Boom. So guys, this proto property is is the link this link right as you can see this points to the prototype object which is this i have added the speak property which, so basically this proto property is a reference to this prototype object and it has a constructor property as well as speak property so guys whenever you call a method on an object so what javascript does is it looks up into the object if the object has that property on it it will call it for you if it doesn't have the property on itself it will go through the proto chain and it will look up into the prototype of the constructor function if it has that method or a property it will call that for you this is known as the prototype linkage so this is how we can call speak method on pikachu without even having it on the object pikachu itself we can also see over here that Pikachu dot proto is equal to Pokemon dot prototype. Proto is just a reference to the prototype of the constructor function. And let me show you one more thing. You must be wondering that Pikachu has a property to string on it. As we call that, we can call that and as you can see in the diagram, the Pikachu instant doesn't have that property as well as the prototype of the constructor function Pokemon doesn't have that property. Then how come Pikachu has that property to string? And how come all the objects have a predefined property? So you can see it has a number of properties. Constructor type has one property, is prototype of. So how come this Pikachu object has these many properties but it doesn't belong to the Pikachu instance? as well as the constructor function Pokemon. Let's find that out as well. So guys, in JavaScript, you can consider that JavaScript creates level zero environment for us in which we have this function object, which has a prototype object to it. And this object contains all the useful methods like toString, dot assign, dot get prototype of, which is basically linked to the prototype of any function we create like this so that is the reason why pikachu object has access to the methods like to string assign and get prototype of and more so what happens is when you call pikachu dot to string it checks on itself if it has the method if it doesn't have it goes up the prototype chain and it checks on the constructor functions prototype if it has the method to string if that doesn't have it goes again up the prototype chain and it checks with the object if it has the two string function or not if it has it just calls that basically this proto just expresses the link the internal linkages that's it guys to just summarize every function which we create in javascript has a property prototype on it which points to an object and we can assign many properties to it and proto is basically internal linkage between these objects these prototype objects that's all if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up share like and subscribe and guys also let me know what other topics you want me to cover in the next video thank you guys see you in the next one